Hello people of YouTube. We are going... This is part one of three on politically correct ministry. So, as a visual aid type thing, I am going to do just that, just for a few minutes to kind of show my point. And it's kind of hard to do ministry without some, some scripture backing. Um, so, when, my point in doing that is to show when it's, it's actually really near impossible to do politically correct ministry because Whenever you're doing ministry, well, you might not know what can offend people, but if you're always thinking there's stuff that could definitely offend people, and and that's the main thing you're focused on is not offending people, it makes it really hard to do ministry. And stuff like that and something that I've learned from my own personal testimony is when there are people in your life and you think about doing ministry sometimes with me the people that I've thought would be most offended by my ministry when I do ministry at school are actually some of the people that are most open to what I have to say. And and the main lesson that I'm trying to point out is there, there are a few ways of doing ministry when that you can go about doing with stuff that would offend people. You can either do it in a hateful and judgmental way, what that's the way that, yeah, that's a bad thing to do. Or you can do it in a generally concerned and caring, compassionate way. What is the right way of doing things. And I feel like people might be more open to it when you do it that way. Because they can tell by the tone of your voice. And, and the look on your face and stuff. That the reason why you're saying things is because you generally care about other people. And what happens to other people. And, um... So, for this video, I'm going to tell the Bible story of another person that did this. That even struggled and was hesitant to do this. Kind of like how I was two at a time and um we're talking about the story of Moses one well some background information on Moses was around the time he was born the Egyptian emperor at the time had enslaved the Israelites and they were going to Kill all the boys under two, I think. Or all the newborns and stuff. In, in Egypt from Israel. So, Moses' mom sent him away down a river in a basket and was found by the princess and was or the queen and was raised as royalty and he had a brother who when they grew up his brother became pharaoh 
And one day when Moses was looking over the Israelite slaves, he saw one of them being whipped by an Egyptian soldier. And out of rage, he accidentally killed that Egyptian soldier, so he ran off to the woods. And he came across a burning bush where God told him to go back to Egypt, talk to his brother, and tell him to set his people free, or God would release the seven plagues. And Ramsey, his reply was he would come up with many excuses why not to, and he even brought up the fact that he had a speech impediment. So, God said he would send his brother with him, and then he finally decided to return to Egypt, and after the last plague, what is still a holiday celebrated by a few religions known as Passover, and when it comes close to the time, I'm, I'll am i probably go more in depth to the plague closer to the times of that holiday. But the main thing is, everything generally worked out okay, even though there were some trials and rough patches. He was still successful, and God was proud of him in the end. And so, it it mainly depends on the delivery of saying what you're saying, and and you don't really know how someone might react to ministry until. You're brave enough to share it with them. And with that being said, may God be with you and see you next time.